There's so much to see and do in Kingston that I know you'll enjoy your time spent here during this important conference. Thank you for visiting. Welcome to Kingston. We look forward to hosting you next year. With its rich heritage, vibrant culture, pristine waterfront, and award-winning attractions, Kingston is one of Ontario's best-kept secrets. Our colorful history began in the 17th century, when the French settled upon a First Nation site and established Fort Cataraqui, later to be called Fort Frontenac. After the War of 1812, Britain built Fort Henry and a series of distinctive Martello Towers to guard the entrance to the Rideau Canal. These historical landmarks have now received international recognition and were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2007, the only UNESCO site in Ontario. Kingston became Canada's first capital in 1841. We have never forgotten our significant role as the birthplace of Confederation. Bellevue House, the home of Sir John A. Macdonald, Canada's first Prime Minister, is one of Canada's national historic sites and a popular tourist attraction. Sir John A. Macdonald is buried in nearby Cataraqui Cemetery and his birthday is celebrated annually by local residents in a downtown park that bears his name. There are over 20 museums and historic sites that help to tell our story, including the Pump House Steam Museum, which highlights Kingston's importance as a Great Lakes port and a center for shipbuilding and locomotive manufacturing in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Kingston is home to Queen's University, Canada's oldest degree-granting university, St. Lawrence College, and the Royal Military College of Canada. Canadian Forces Base Kingston is the city's largest employer and where the communications and electronic branch of the Canadian Forces is located. Kingston has the largest concentration of federal correctional facilities in Canada, Nine institutions are located in the Kingston area, including Maximum Security, Kingston Penitentiary. Tourism ambassadors often boast Kingston is a city with small town charm, but big city amenities. The heart of Kingston rests on the edge of Lake Ontario, where the docks and parkland of Confederation Basin face City Hall, one of Canada's finest examples of 19th century classical architecture. The city stands on a solid limestone foundation, which provides a natural building material for many of our limestone buildings and has earned us the endearing nickname, the Limestone City. Kingston also offers a taste for every palate, offering more restaurants per capita than any other city in North America. Shocking, but true. Our spectacular location makes Kingston a water sport paradise. Our city is known as the freshwater capital of the world, with as many as 200 shipwrecks resting just beyond our harbour. Kingston is one of the most popular scuba diving destinations in Ontario. Kingston is home to the oldest continuing hockey rivalry in the world between Queen's University and Royal Military College. Dozens of notable hockey players are proud to call the Limestone City home, including Kirk Muller, Doug Gilmore, Jaina Hefford, and Don Cherry. One of the city's hottest attractions is the K-Rock Center. The arena opened in 2008 and has hosted several international acts, including hometown favorites The Tragically Hip, Cheryl Crow, Avril Lavigne, Great Big C, and Diana Krall. The jewel of Kingston's performing arts community, the Grand Theatre, reopened in 2008 to much fanfare. The historic brand is home to the Kingston Symphony and serves as the backdrop to a number of musical, theatrical and dance productions. Kingston is the perfect choice to host the 2010 OACP Annual Conference and Global Showcase. Guests will stay at three of Kingston's finest hotels, the Four Points by Sheridan, the Radisson 
and the Holiday Inn waterfront. Each is within walking distance to our quaint downtown, which beckons to be explored. With our first-class academic, sport, and cultural facilities, you will soon understand why Kingston is considered one of the most sustainable cities in North America and is ranked as one of the top three places to live in Canada. There is so much to see and do, whether it's a sunset cruise through the Thousand Islands, dinner at Fort Henry, or a concert at the K-Rock Centre. We look forward to sharing it all with you.